Hey everybody, Darlene here at Petal Academy. Since Easter is coming up, we thought it would be really fun to share some simple ideas that you can do with a few things around the house for your table decor. So let's get rolling. I've got here just a couple of really pretty crystal glasses. You can use these oftentimes, you know, you've just got them on display, so why not bring them out and use them as a tumbler to assemble a few stems and use that as a centerpiece. So in this little vase here, I've just got some water with some preservatives. So I'm just gonna fill these up just a little over halfway. It's kind of nice when you use the clear vessel because you can see the water level. So it's easy for you to top it up. You can do this a few days in advance too, which is great because then you don't have to worry about rushing around trying to do your table arrangement at the last minute. And then in front of me, I've just got a couple of stems of Lysianthus. Now these are some pretty beautiful double Lysianthus. So if you're lucky enough to find these uh, at a lo local florist or whatnot, these are fantastic. Got a couple of those stems, lots of buds on there. I've got, of course, everybody's favorite ranunculus, beautiful spring flower, so always great. Great for longevity as well, so that's a good choice for doing this ahead of time. Four stems of that and a couple of stems of viburnum, which is our favorite as well, one of these snowball viburnums. This is a good long laster too. We really simply got just a little bit of bay leaf here, so get creative. Go to the produce section in your grocery store. You can grab some rosemary or maybe some sage, a few different herbs if you can't get your hands on some bay leaf or maybe even look for bay and even parsley would work great. Just as a foliage that you can add to these vases and it's perfect, so easy. Just before your greens in your garden start going. So I've got a few bay leaves here. I'm just gonna simply remove some of these bottom leaves just so I'm cleaning up my stems just a little bit. We're just gonna do a couple of little posies in our hands to get these rolling. I'm just cutting a few little pieces here just to make them a little bit more of a manageable size. So I've just got a couple of pieces of my bay leaf here. I'm gonna take one of my snowballs. I'm actually gonna cut this one in half because I've got these tumblers are really short. So I wanna make sure this is nice and compact. Now one little trick with snowballs is Removing a lot of the foliage is going to let that water flow up these stems a lot better. So if you notice this is a bit of a wilt sensitive flower, just remove a little bit more of that greenery in your bunch on those stems of those leaves and that'll sort of encourage that water to sort of go up the stem a little bit more. And then I'm just taking a couple of ranunculus, so just two per bunch here, a couple of those little blooms. And then I'm just going to remove some of these buds off these lysianthus. So stripping this down a little bit and just using these breaks. I'm going to go ahead and just add a few of these little buds in here. So pretty. And then that nice little pop of that little lysianthus there at the front. And it's, it's that simple, right? Like it's so pretty that little posy just like that. Now you can see my stems are a little uneven here. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna trim these up, even them up. My clippers here. And you just pop it right into your little water glass here. So really, really simple. Loose, easy, not a fuss in the world. Just really simple. And you can see that water level there. So when it gets low, you're gonna wanna top that up. So let's do a little set of two so that we can create a bit of a grouping. I like doing things in groupings when you have uh, maybe a dinner party planned because sometimes when you have a really large scale arrangement in the middle of the table and you're gonna bring out a ham or whatever you've got on the menu, it's a little cumbersome to kind of move things around and get all your food dishes in the uh, appropriate spots or easy to sort of serve from. So when you have little arrangements like this, you can move them around the table, you know, throw a few candles in between, and then you don't have to really worry about moving this really large scale awesome arrangement. As awesome as the large scale arrangements are, it can be a little harder to manipulate the meal. I'm just gonna trim down these ranunculus again. I've got a couple of little buds here that I wanna steal off this stem because these are so pretty. That's the great thing about ranunculus. Some of them come with these little shoots. So be sure to use those as well because they just add a nice little pop of some little life happening in there, which is so fun. See that? And I'm just removing a couple of the bay leaves that look a little damaged just from transport. And then again, we're just gonna take this Lysianthus. You can see all those breaks on there. So just divide that up a little bit. And just sort of pull all those main breaks off. 
I find Lysianthus are great for that, for really providing a lot of mileage um, when, they, when they produce all their blooms because you can use the buds as well as the large scale blooms in your arrangements. So just like that, just really, really simple. Again, that really easy little posy. So fantastic. Give it a little quick trim here, the clippers. And then again, nice and short, we're just gonna tuck that right into our crystal tumbler here. And we're just gonna spin those around. Here's your little set of two. So like I said, you know, these can be great. You can offset them, move them around the table. So easy. How classic and lovely is that? And what did that take me? Five minutes, not even. Um, so have some fun with that. Eight stems, I think, is all we used in these arrangements. Eight stems of flowers with just some fun little foliage. And like I said, get a little bit more curious in the produce aisle. Grab some fresh herbs and use that as your greens. It'll be a little unexpected treat for your guests. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Happy Easter.